Live from Something Sweet and Sassy headquarters, it's Sassy SEO TV. I'm Kristen Rohan, and I'm enchanted to bring you Always Simple, Always Sassy, SEO Tips and Tricks. There are many tools, methods, algorithms, and approaches to SEO. There are uses for all of them, but it's good to know about it's good to know about them because every business has different needs and different expectations. But at sassyseo.com, we share easy and ethical strategies that anybody can use. SEO is always changing, but building and maintaining a quality site that is relevant and valuable to your community, which consists of your customers, your prospects, your vendors, and your partners, is always important. Each Sassy episode will cover different topics. If there's something that you'd like to see, drop me a line at sassyseotv at sassyseo.com. I'd love to hear from you and help you learn about the fascinating world of SEO. But if you can't wait and you're hot to get an overview of all my best secrets, visit my site, sassyseo.com, under Sassy Sources, to get my tips and tricks. I'll be covering most of these topics in depth on different episodes of sassyseo.com, so check back often. I will present free tools that you can use for SEO. You don't have to spend a lot of money to improve your site, your relevance, your value, or your rankings. If you're interested, you can Im implement these yourself. SEO is ongoing and takes diligence. It's not snake oil or voodoo, but it does take time every month. There is debate whether search engines look at key terms in your metadata. Regardless, key terms are like an outline to your content. You need direction for each page or section if you're to stay, so if you're to stay focused and present your site in an organized way. So here are my simple tricks to great key terms. First, do your research. Google Keyword Tool is a great free tool that can help you look at what terms you could be using. There's also a, a tool called Word Tracker that there's a free version of as well. What that does is you put your key terms in and it shows you whether your term is being searched on a global le level. The Google Keyword Tool lets you know if your terms are being searched locally or globally, it also gives you recommendations and shows you how much competition there is for the words. You don't want to pick terms that have a lot of competition because it'll be hard for people to find your site. You want to make it easy for them. You want to make sure that your key terms are between three and five words as people don't search for one or two key terms normally. You want to give them as much help as you can and get more focused. As more and more pages are being developed online, you have a harder time or more of a challenge to make sure that you find your best prospects and customers. You don't need to attract everybody, you just need to attract the right people. Your key term is not your business name. Though you use your business name and you're found by your business name, it's better to look for key terms that are in your industry so that when people who might not know about you will still find you, especially locally. You want to pick 10 to 15 key terms for your home page and make sure that it includes something about your business and your best offerings because that's the page that people visit the most. If you have key terms right now, use a tool called Rank Checker through seobook.com. It's a free tool that will help you find out if your terms are being ranked right now in the top 20 of the search engines. People really don't search past the second page on the search engines, so you want to make sure that if you're not ranking in the top 20, that word might be too difficult for you to use as a key term. Make sure you change the terms and the contents for each of your pages. People will visit about 10 pages of your website, so those are the ones that you want to focus on. You'll know which pages those are if you look at your analytics. I highly recommend everybody having analytics on their site. Google's, Google's analytics tool is free and really helpful. Check your rankings in the search engines by putting your key terms in the search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Those are the top three right now in the industry. You may need to tweak your, your phrases if there's too much competition. So besides metadata, what else can you use your key terms for? Well, you can use it to focus your content on each of your pages. You can use it for a paid search program like Google AdWords. Or you can use the terms to tag media, tagging your PDFs, your articles, your presentations, your videos, your audio, and your podcasts. 
All of those are now being searched by the, by the search engines and come up in your rankings. What it does is it just helps build your brand online and gives people a better chance to find you. Where else can you get ideas for key terms? Look at your analytics. That will show you which key terms people are using to find your site. That will give you some insight on, on how they search. Sometimes you think what your key terms are aren't really known to your target audience, so make sure that you give them terms or put terms into your site and your metadata that people actually search. Look at the keywords in your analytics and see which key terms result in long visits to your site. Those are sticky keywords. Use them. Look at your competitors. What terms are they using? Are they relevant to you? Try some out and see if they work. Another way is to look at the bottom of the search results. So if you go into Google and you type SEO online tools, you'll get a whole page of results. Sometimes at the bottom it'll say, would you like to try or have you considered using or recommended key terms at the bottom. That gives you some insight on what key terms are also being used. If you have paid search programs like Google AdWords, look and see what terms are working and which terms aren't. If a term has a high click-through rate and has really high impressions, that could be a good term for you to use. If you have any questions or comments or ideas, drop me a line at sassyseotv at sassyseo.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see your sassy selves at the next episode of Sassy SEO TV. Cheers.